Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Life on the Wrist. Hope you all are doing well today. We are discussing watches and wonders. We're going to be taking a look at Patek Philippe in this video. We have already covered Rolex in a previous video. So if you haven't seen our Rolex covered, be, sh be sure to head over to our channel or our website to check out the watches that Rolex released at Watches and Wonders 2022. But this video is about Patek Philippe and um, the amazing pieces that they've released. Super excited about this sort of new, um, some, of these, some of these pieces that they've released. Um, they're really beautiful. I think they, they've, they've done some interesting things with their dials. And so I'm gonna be covering some of the pieces that they've, they've released. Um, we, we're gonna have an article on our website if you wanna read some more about it. So um, be sure to head over there. So I'm gonna dive straight in with probably one of the, the heavy hitters of Patek Philippe. Um, and that is the um, reference uh, 5326G annual calendar travel time. Now, I don't have any of these pieces in my possession, but what I'm gonna be doing is putting up videos and pictures while I talk through these watches. So, um, so just wanna say that up front. So the 5326G annual calendar travel time is exactly what it sounds like. It's an annual, annual, ca annual calendar with a GMT hand, but what's really cool about this one is that it, is, it has a really um, sort of unique um, a really unique looking dial to it, not something that you're going to see every day on someone's wrist. The watch itself is in white gold and it has this, ba you can get a beige or black uh, calf skin strap on it. It's a 41 millimeter case, um, which is I think beautifully constructed. The finishing on the case is, uh, is it's Patek Philippe, it's, it's, it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, the dial itself has this sort of brown hobnail pattern uh, in guilloche on it and um, which I think is gives it a, a really interesting look especially if, with the straps that come with it um, and then it has um, our marker our hands or excuse me our markers um, that are uh, numbered um, that are in uh, white white gold and they're applied to the to the dial of the watch um, beautiful tech te this charcoal gray uh, dial sort of texture to it, which I think is um, uh, which I think is, is is really really beautiful. Has a vintage appe appeal to it. I think that's why it's a sort of a hit home with me. They've released some Calatravas with a similar aesthetic to this one, um, but it really does have that vintage appeal to it. Even the hour markers, you can see the the um, the excuse me the hour the hour and the minutes hand have have this uh, sort of like. Um, almost faux patina yellow in it, which I think is, is it's beautiful. Um, the watch has um, the uh, day of the week, the month below the Patek Philippe logo at 12 o'clock, has a date at six o'clock with a moon phase and sub, uh, um, uh, 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 a sub dial with the seconds at six o'clock. Obviously it has the home and local um, dots on it too. This is a really beautiful watch. Um, for what you're getting here, you're getting a vintage aesthetic to it, but with a modern sort of flair for what Patek Philippe is creating. So uh, a really great watch um, that, that they released. Moving on to the next piece, the 5205R annual calendar moon phase. This watch has a really beautiful olive green dial. So the 5205 has been, has been out, but this um, beautiful olive green dial that they've used really changes the way that you look at this piece, especially with the, with the um, with the gold case that you have on this, on this, on this watch, um, rose gold and sort of this dark green look look beautiful. You could almost describe it as sort of like a dark rainforest uh, green as well, if you if you wanted to. 40, 40 millimeter case, rose gold. Um, rose gold is the material that's used, and the dial color is really what's what's different. Um, but I do think it gives the the watch a, a different different vibe to it. Um, annual calendar complication with a moon phase. It's everything that you love about Patek Philippe, um, just with a different dial. So really, really cool. And then um, next watch I wanted to talk about is the 5374-300P. This, uh, this is a minute repeater and perpetual calendar that has uh, diamonds and sapphires um, with a blue enamel dial on it. Um, this is like the, this is a, a huge piece. Um, 
definitely has a little bit more of the jewelry vibe to it than than anything else because of how much um, how much um, you know you have your sapphires and your diamonds that are pretty pretty um, a pretty big part of this watch. Um, however, you know you're getting a uh, platinum case 42 millimeter um, minute repeater perpetual calendar. So this is a this is a, a serious watch. Uh, comes on a blue strap. Um, as always, proportions on this watch are, are absolutely phenomenal, and um, and there's there's <laughs> there's not much more to say about it. You just have to look at it, and I can imagine the sound. I, I haven't had a chance to listen to what the minute repeater sounds like, but Patek Philippe does minute repeaters um, probably the best in the world. Um, so. Uh, you, a really beautiful watch from them there as well. Moving forward, they released the 5230P World Time. 5230P is not a not a new uh, reference for them. They came out with it in platinum with a beautiful blue um, with a beautiful blue enamel or excuse me, not not enamel, it's hand guilloche with a basket weave dial. Um, 38 and a half millimeters in platinum, 48 hours of power reserve. The 5230 is um, is a watch that's I think overlooked. I, I had the opportunity to, to see a 5230. Um, a friend of mine uh, ha has one in his collection, and um, I feel like it's kind of overlooked by some. And, and um, uh, I think it's a, it's a absolutely wonderful watch, and to have it in platinum is is just in building out sort of the collection of of what they have there. Two other pieces I wanted to mention: salmon dials are obviously extremely hot right now, and so Patek Philippe released two pieces um a perpetual the perpetual calendar 5320 and the uh, patek philippe chronograph 5172 both of them have a salmon dial with applied hour mark hour markers and the loom on these pieces is sort of what what is uh, pretty phenomenal with them um, these are not new ref new references these are references that have been around but salmon dials have been extremely uh, popular um, I can't tell you how many times someone I've had conversations with people that say the salmon dial of this watch is so much better than the original, or the salmon dial is better than the white the white dial. Um, I think this is something that people are just absolutely falling in love with, and um, you know, kudos to Patek Philippe for it for jumping on it. They have some really beautiful salmon dial pieces as well. Um, there's also some independence. FP Jorn has some beautiful salmon dials that I think a lot of people are also falling in love with. So. White, um, white gold salmon salmon dial uh, salmon dial. I really really love the chronograph. Um, simplistic two sub dials, just everything you lo you would love in in in, um, in a chronograph. I also really just love the the um, stepped lugs. If you look at the lugs on this piece, they sort of have a stepping to it, which almost rounds out the case. If you look at it in some way. Um, which I think is um, which I think is equally as cool. The perpetual calendar also has a the similar sort of stepped um, lugs, which make it, um, an, a, a, of course, really really beautiful. Um, and then I mentioned that um, they were sort of building out the Calatrava line, and um, and uh, it takes into consideration the that um, sort of charcoal gray textured finished dial that they have, um, and a beige the beige loom that they have on on, the, on their watches. This is building out the Calatrava line, so they they have um, these pieces with just a date complication, pretty simplistic, but also has that sort of faux patina vibe to it, and beautiful luminescent material is applied to this. The the gray dial the sort of gray charcoal dial that they, they've used I think is going to be a staple for for them and it's nice that they're sort of building out the Calatrava line as that is a lot of the times where people sort of start in Patek Philippe and so building that out a little bit I think is hitting home with those people who are saying you know I want to get into Patek Philippe but I I I don't just want that two that three hand or three hand uh, Calatrava that they have in their catalog so I think it's giving them more options to those who are sort of starting off on their Patek Philippe journey, um, which is an important step because that's how you, you know people. You'd hope that they would eventually graduate to some of the other pieces that, that you, you were producing. Um, so, 
Phenomenal watches, congratulations Patek Philippe on, on the incredible pieces that you've released. I know that there's going to be a lot of buzz about it. I already know uh, with the amount of messages that I've been getting about these pieces that there is buzz around it. So congratulations uh, on your releases. If you want to see um, our article on this, be sure to head over to our website. But I'd also love to know what you think about these pieces. So leave a comment in the comment section below on what you think about the watches that we've discussed in this video. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Um, so that you uh, can see our videos that we release every single week. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button for us, it really does help us out with our YouTube analytics. And with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and until next time.